Welcome to Rob Schmidt tonight. Today, Joe Biden showed Americans just how dumb he thinks we are. Biden has spent three and a half years crippling this country with the chaos of having essentially no southern border in the wealthiest country in the world. Sitting back with the popcorn and watching as his party's future voting base streams across the Rio Grande, truly unthinkable what they have done to us for the past three and a half years, decimating not just conservative cities and towns in Texas and Arizona, but our major American cities as well. His motive now is crystal clear, bring in 20 million uneducated people of the third world, cut a deal for mass amnesty here at some point, trap them in our vast entitlement system, and in a few years have them all voting for socialism. The political cost of this criminal maneuver and what they've done to us has been tremendous, though, as Americans again realize that this administration, this government that they elected, operates with zero regard for what they actually want. Today, Joe Biden insulted us all, announcing his plan to secure the border that he destroyed, spewing a chorus of lies that were infuriating to listen to, claiming Republicans wouldn't help him secure the border. And all began, of course, with an attack on his 2024 opponent, after Donald Trump sniffed out and then stood against the Senate's former in inexplicable plan to achieve a very meager reduction in border chaos in exchange for codifying our open border into law and giving Joe Biden political cover for the treasonous destruction of this country's sovereignty. The cynical and a extremely cynical political move and a complete disservice to the American people who are looking for us to not to weaponize the border, but to fix it. Today, I'm joined by a bipartisan group of governors, members of Congress, mayors, law enforcement officials, most of whom live and work along the southern border. They don't have time for the games played in Washington, and neither do the American people. So today, I'm moving past Republican obstruction and using the executive authorities available to me as president to do what I can on my own to address the border. If you're paying attention, that should enrage you. He's hoping that most people aren't. And moments like that remind Americans who are paying attention why we don't trust and largely can't stand our government. Insane levels of gaslighting in the speech today. Infuriating to watch from the man who invited the world to surge the border as a candidate. And what it really shows is that they just don't care. They have enough control over the narrative they can say whatever the hell they want. Most Americans are blissfully unaware of the dumpster fire that Washington has become in recent years. As for the plan to secure the border, it's fake. Much like the Senate plan was fake. It calls for halting asylum entries only after 2,500 illegal daily encounters. The media is buying into this. From Axios, President Biden will issue an executive order today that will allow him to dramatically limit asylum claims, granting himself the power that congressional Republicans twice have denied him. You'd swear it was written by the Biden re-election campaign. Usually is with the media. In truth, this order will simply funnel all of the chaos that we've been seeing for the last three and a half years more coordinated funneling of that through the proper channels. We'll still have thousands a day pouring in. You can count on that. They'll just come through our ports, be rubber stamped, and get a date with a judge in like eight years. Welcome to America. If you needed proof just how fraudulent today really was, how fraudulent the president really is, Senate Democrats facing re-election this year in tough states refuse to be a part of it. Tester, Baldwin, Rosen, Casey, all invited to the White House. They were just right down the street. They didn't show up. They can't afford to be tethered to a charade of this capacity from this man. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. I'll reverse Trump's detrimental asylum policies. They see in a situation where he talks about he has a policy of literally ripping children from their parents at the border, for God's sake. I mean, it's, uh, it's not who we are. We have an immigration system that's consistent with our values and who we say we are, and it does not now. Donald Trump is absolutely violating every basic value we have.